Hi guys, welcome back to Taylor and today I'm going to be teaching you how to fly an RNAV approach in the Boeing 737. Alright guys, so today what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at this uh, RNP runway 12 approach into Cardiff. And we're currently on the way inbound to Brecon VOR and we're going to go into the hold when we get there. And uh, it's basically just a 180 inbound hold and the autopilot will take care of all that for us. I've already put all the information in there that it needs. Um, I've got the q for Cardiff 1027 set up in standby here on the PFD. And uh, I'll quickly show you the weather information here. So we've got a uh, variable at 2 knots uh, with a temperature of 12 and a QNH of 1027. Um, so the aircraft's flying itself right now. So what we can do is we can actually look at setting up this approach. So here's the approach play again. You can see we've got an EGNOS frequency here, uh, which we're not going to use today. We're going to use the LNAV VNAV minimums on this one. And uh, final approach track of 118. So I've got 118 set in the courses here on the left and the right side. And uh, we've got an elevation of 220 feet at Cardiff. And if we have a look in the overhead panel here on the land out, I've got 200 set, which is to the nearest 100 feet. So that's all looking sensible. Now what we need to do then is set it up in the FMC. So at the moment, what we've got, if we go to the route page, we can see Cardiff is the destination. If we go to departures and arrivals, and arrivals here next to Cardiff, uh, what I had set up initially was the ILS from we want to. I'm just going to pretend that the ILS was out of service or something, so we had to change to the RNAV approach. So we're going to deselect the ILS there, and then we will go through and find the RMP runway 12. There we go, the RMP runway 12. So select that, and we're coming from the north. Brecon is to the north of Cardiff, so we're going to use the IVNIM initial approach fix. So we're going to select the transition IVNIM here and execute that. Now what we can have a quick look at here, if we go to the legs page and we join IVNIM up to the bottom of the uh, hold here. Oh, reset MCP altitude there, we'll just get rid of that. And set that up, execute that and we can just have a quick look here at the uh, plan mode and just see if that is looking sensible. So yeah we got Brecon then out of the hold we're going into Ivnim so that's looking quite good and then we can just uh, compare all this to the approach plate and see if that is looking sensible with the FMC. So we'll see here we've got Ivnim 3200 feet or above which we've got in here 210 or below on the speed which is also shown on the plate then we're going to go to Okpub after that which is 2500 feet or above which is also in here. Then we make a left turn to the Foxtrot Foxtrot 12 Foxtrot, which is the final approach fix. And uh, that needs to be a hard altitude of 2,200 feet. Then three degrees down to the runway. So that's all looking sensible in there. The missed approach, if we need to do it, is climb straight ahead to on a 118 track to 3,000 feet. And then we go around these points here, the Foxtrot Foxtrot Mike 01, 02, 03, and then inbound to the Cardiff NDB. So Foxtrot, Foxtrot Mike 01, 02, 03, Cardiff NDB, and into the hold. That's all looking sensible as well, stopping at 3,000 feet. So what I'm gonna need to do here is make sure I've got the Cardiff NDB tuned, which is 388.5. Now this one only does four numbers for some reason, but 388 will be close enough. So we're gonna select that, and what we'll do now is we'll go over to the panel here and we will select ADF and you see Cardiff's now identifying down on the navigation display. So that's all looking good and we can also make sure we set that here on the standby instrument as well. So that's looking good, um, it's all sensible and we've got an LNAV VNAV minimums of 480 feet. Now like I said I will do an LPV video but uh, I'll do that separately so that will be coming up. So we're going to set 480 on the minimums, set, so that's uh, all good and uh, now what we've got to do is look at the performance. So on here on the approach plate you can see we've got some distance and altitude readouts. Now the pilot monitoring would normally uh, call these out as we go. So um, 
we'll see if we can simulate that if we've got time. And the performance uh, for the runway, so we've got 2,098 meters available there, and a 45 width. So that's looking okay. We've got a full approach lighting system and three degree pappies. So what we'll do is we'll have a look at the fuel situation. We go to the progress page here, you see we've got 7.1 on board and estimating 6.6 .6 on arrival. So that is 500 kilos to burn. So 0.5 difference there. So we go into here and we take off 0.5 from the gross weight, so that's 58.4. And we put that into here. And now we go over to the iPad and we can put in the landing performance information here. So we're going to go runway 1 2. 2.5 is correct for the missed approach climb gradient. Dry runway. The wind was variable at 2 knots. Okay, in real life, what I would do is put a minus 2 in here, but it seems that the uh, iPad won't let me do that on here. Um, the temperature was. Uh, 12 degrees so we'll put that in 12 degrees and the Q&H was 1027 so we'll just be aware that we might have a slight tailwind on the on the approach there so when we're choosing our auto brake that we're going to use we'll take that into account I'm going to check out flaps 30 uh, auto on the air conditioning anti-ice off all brakes no non-normals We'll take no credit for the reverses, and the weight was uh, 58.4, so put 58.400 into here. And we'll put 5 knots on top, that sounds good. And then we'll have a look at what we got here. So order rate 2 takes us pretty much right to the end of the runway. Order rate 3 gives us a nice stopping distance there. So I think what I'll do is I'll select flaps 30 and order rate 2. So we go back to the FMC here. Double click on the flap 30, and that gives us 140, 5 knots on top, and order break 3 we will select on here, so it's 1, 2, 3, and there we go. So we've got the landing performance all set up. So what we can do now then is we can have a look and see if we have got uh, everything set up, so we can do some checks, so we're going to do our descent checks. So we'll check it on here. So descent checks, pressurization, land out is 200. Anti-ice is off and not required. Approach brief and fuel is discussed. And uh, IS and out bugs. So we've got uh, 140 and 480 checked and set. And that's all looking sensible there. Now, as we uh, fly this approach, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to fly it procedurally. So after we leave Brecon, we're going to start with start down to 3,200 feet. One mile prior to Ivnim, we'll select 2,500 for Ogpuv, and then we'll come around the corner. Two miles prior to the final approach fix, the pilot monitoring will call approaching descent, at which point we will select the minimums to the nearest 100 feet and round it up, so it'll be 500 feet, VNAV path, and speed into vent. And I'll show you that as we do it. Um, then uh, that will make sure that we can actually start the uh, start the descent three degrees down to the runway. Uh, so just keep an eye on me as I do it. Uh, it should all make a bit more sense when you're watching. So let's go back to the VNAV page here. And actually we're going to exit the hold now. So I'm going to go to the hold screen and I'm going to select exit hold and execute that. And what that will do, after we go over the beacon next, it will go outbound from the hold and you can see it's actually figured out a top of descent for us there as well for VNAV uh, so that's going to be sensible too and yeah that's it so we're just going to go over Brecon now and then start outbound alright guys so we're now over Brecon uh, for some reason uh, my top of descent point disappeared and it's showing me a thousand feet low uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select 3200 feet in the altitude window here and I'm going to use VS and just start a gradual descent to catch the profile and then once we're on profile I'll then uh, use VNAV from there so yeah we'll go for about 500 feet per minute rate of descent there and you can see here 
we are showing 4,000 feet low. So once we get to on profile, I'll just reselect VNAV. Uh, speed's looking good as well. 220 knots is fine for uh, for where we are right now. Um, and uh, just while we have a little bit of time, actually, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to select the Q and H. So 1027 is set. 7100. Uh, descending to 3200 and we are just about coming on profile now so we will go ahead and select VNAV and that should give us an idle descent path all the way down so in about nine miles time what we'll do is select the next altitude from there so VNAV seems to be doing quite a good job there so we'll just let that carry on and do its thing and uh, yeah so I've had a couple of requests to do some G1000 uh, FS2020 videos, uh, which I am still planning to do. But unfortunately, uh, the latest update has actually stopped me from even being able to open the flight simulator. So uh, I'm making some 737 videos in the meantime. But uh, once I can get back online, I'll, uh, I'll make the videos that have been requested. And I'm sorry it's taken so long, but I really can't do much about it right now. And it uh, looks like VNAV has just decided to put us 300 feet high. So it's probably going to dive a little bit for that, but I'm not too worried about it. Yeah, it should be about 10. Yeah, it's about 10 knots it's going to gain. That's not too bad. Uh, but what we can do is we can start taking flaps now, get a bit of drag out there. So I'm going to say flaps 1 and the panel monitoring would respond speed checks and select flaps 1 and there we go and that'll just add a little bit of drag there so we're 4 miles from uh, Ivnim now so we're going to hit that 210 knots so we're going to go for uh, flaps 5 as well now so flaps 5 speed checks and we go for flap 5 And I'm going to open the speed window because I don't really want to be 160 knots. So we'll go for 180. That seems about sensible for now. So I'll use the flaps 1 speed. And that's looking good. We're two miles from Ivnim. And once we get to one mile from Ivnim, I'm going to reduce the, um, reduce the speed a little bit further. So one mile from Ivnim, we're going to set 2,500 feet there and I'm going to put in the, actually I forgot to put in the range ring so I'm just going to quickly do that now. So runway 12 and I'll put myself a, a 4 mile ring in just for a reminder for uh, configuration there. So we're just coming 3 miles from Ogpuv after when we get one mile from up I'll, I'll come down to 2200 feet is the next altitude from there so the frequencies are all set the rings are in the idents we've got Charlie Delta Foxtrot the standby is set no unexpected flags the courses are all set we can do the approach checks now so altimeters and instruments are set and cross-checked and approach aids are checked and set so we are now coming up to one mile from Ogpuv Let's uh, slow down to the flap 5 speed here. And next altitude is 2,200 feet. Now, two miles from the Foxtrot, Foxtrot 1 2 Foxtrot, we're then going to uh, call the approach and descent point. So it's in about 1.8 miles. Now, for the uh, INAV approach, we need to make sure that the pilot flying sex progress page 4. That way, you can monitor the vertical deviation and the cross track error. To make sure that's all within limits and yeah everything's looking pretty good there we go round on the final approach track so I'm going to set the runway heading of 118 there we go and coming up to two miles from the final approach fix here I'm going to set the minimums 500 feet Make sure we're in VNAV path, which we are, and speed intervent is selected. So that's all looking pretty good as well. Move this range in here so we can start to configure it at the appropriate time. 
2500. And approaching the final approach fix, there's a call out to do, which I'll do, and also I'll make the pilot monitoring response as well. And the call is FAF 2220, no flags. Pilot monitoring response is altitude checks, no flags. And that's it now. We're the aircraft's going to take us down to three degrees glide path. Speed's looking sensible. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to configure. So it's gear down, flap 15, match the speed, and landing checklist to flaps. So the start switches go to continuous. Recall is checked. Speed brake, armed green light, landing gear down 3 green. Auto brake is 3 set. And we're just holding at the flaps now, so we'll take flaps 30. And then we're going to check the flaps. So the flaps are 30, 30 green light, and the landing lights go on. And that's it, we're all configured. When we get to 1000 feet, which is the top of the white bar here, we're going to set the missed approach altitude in the altitude window. So now is the time. So we can set 3,000 feet in here. 1,000. That's the missed approach altitude set. And uh, I just need to match the speed there for the flaps. Approaching. One, two. There we go. So the speed is looking sensible. And we're coming up to the 500 foot amber band. So the call there would be 500 continue, which is coming up. And there it is, so 500 continue. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the auto throttle autopilot and fly manually from here. Plus 100. Now looking at the pappies there, just making sure that we don't uh, come off Minimums. the glide path. Minimums continue. There's two reds, two whites. We establish the normal rear descent. Take out a little bit of power 100. there. Correct over the center line. 50, 40, 30, and check. 20, Close 10. the throttle. Hold off. Float it a little bit there. And speed brake is up. Two reverses. knots, 80 knots, 60 knots, manual braking, and that's it guys, that is the RNAV approach. Thanks for watching the video, and I'd like to take this opportunity to thank everybody who has left me some positive feedback and comments so far. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.